Relationship advice. My best friend ended herself after having an affair without telling her husband, and he's now asking me what happened. I don't know what to do. Names changed. My, 40 female, best friend, 40 female, Rachel, had been married for 20 something years to her husband John, 42 male. They moved away from Utah to stay in SoCal, but we've kept in close contact ever since they moved, right up to the time she died. Last year, she came back to Utah to care for her father who had since passed. She was here for a year, and then returned to SoCal, where she complained that her life wasn't much. With her husband's encouragement and mine, she flew back here to Utah for a while to have a change of scenery and be close to family, and that's when the affair happened. One day, she confided in me that she started seeing someone. I was not that surprised as on a few occasions, she told me she was thinking about divorce, but never went further than toying with the idea. On hearing about her affair, I cautioned her that she should deal with her marriage first and foremost, and she should have known better before engaging in extramarital affairs. She mentioned a name in passing, Jasper, but it wasn't someone I knew. He was married too, from what she told me. I was alarmed, and she was embarrassed and dismissive and that was the last we talked about it. Occasionally, she would tell me, oh, I met Jasper today. But things took a turn for the worse when she saw that he was having fun holidaying with his wife. She was upset and angry and incredibly sad. A month later, she drowned herself in her father's apartment, and her body was only found after the smell was noticed by a neighbor. It's been about six months since she passed, and her husband and daughter, 24 female, are back in town. He sent me a text last night, paraphrased, saying that he was looking for the truth as to why she ended herself, and asking if there was anything I was keeping from him. He mentioned the name, Jasper. I think he knows or suspects something. From what I know, her last letter just said, I'm sorry, this was all my fault, but she never went into details. Her sister, who knew about her affair, told me to keep mum about it. I can only speculate why she ended herself, from guilt of the affair, or from sadness that Jasper still was with his wife, or maybe even something else. What do I do? On one hand, I have a dead best friend I need to dignify. On another it's incredibly unfair for her husband and daughter. But if I tell them, Lord knows what would happen. I'm at a loss. Now for the top advice. To put it bluntly, she's gone and can't suffer anymore. Her husband and daughter are alive and suffering. Favor the living over the dead. Agreed. Knowing won't bring her back, but it will help him stop wondering. He'll be hurt but the information will give him solid ground to stand on, and give him a starting point to rebuilding his life. He seems to want to know and I don't think that's going to go away, so the longer he's kept in the dark, it's just prolonging the pain and putting a hold on the healing process. People commenting here have clearly not been in a stable, long-lasting relationship. He should know. He will rack his brain thinking of every fight they had, any text he sent, every possible way to blame it on himself. Her daughter will think of every time she yelled back at mom, anything she said or did wrong, and will never find peace. Dad should know and decide if the daughter should know. You are a third party. He knew about Jasper, meaning your ex bff sister shouldn't be that angry. I am sorry for your loss, but the consequences of your BFF's choices is going to spread like poison ivy psychologically to her husband and daughter. Tell the sister you will be telling the husband, unless she wants to do it herself. I wouldn't say he knew about Jasper, but more likely some sort of inkling or whispering hinted a clue about a Jasper. I may be a third party in the context of their marriage, but in this issue on her affair and self-ending, I'm as involved as anyone can be. Taking into account her husband and daughter, their feelings and lives going forward will definitely be a factor in deciding what to do. I've had this happen in the family. Tell them tell them tell them. I guarantee they are torturing themselves asking why? And what if? And did I do something? And is it my fault? And could I have done something different? They need closure and you can give them that gift. Yes, it might implode his and his daughter's world and maybe even the affair partners, but you can prevent a lifetime of unanswered questions and guilt. You don't need to try and justify or assume why your friend ended herself, you just need to state the facts. He already knows, he just needs you to confirm it. If you leave him to suspect forever, it will eat him up and knowing that will eat you up. Please tell him. 100% this, it will be painful for him to hear, but he will at least have an answer and be able to eventually accept that. But it would be so much more painful for him and his daughter to spend the rest of their lives wondering why. Questioning everything. Your friend is no longer suffering, but her family is, and they need some form of closure, even if it hurts at first. 
Now for the next story. I found out my 28 male wife 27 female is cheating on me with her best friend's husband. Do I tell his wife? I'm going to try to keep this not too long. I'm pissed so things may be jumbled. I knew my wife was messaging men while she's manic, she is bipolar, but she's remorseful and says it means nothing once she's stable. Two days ago, I came home to get something I forgot and I walked in on them. It wasn't my finest moment, and I went into a rage and hit him. I told my wife to not be there when I came home. So she went to her parents and I have contacted a lawyer to divorce her. I know him and his wife well. We double date a lot and this is her best friend since they were kids. Do I tell his wife or do I give them the chance to? As of now, she doesn't know anything about this. Tell his wife. There's no reason not to tell since you're divorcing anyway. Agreed. Tell her. Yep. Very simple situation. I think anyone would want to know if their spouse was cheating on them. Tell her, divorce your horrible wife, move on with your life. You need to tell his wife. It's not about trying to ruin the other man's life or anything, it's about saving the woman's life. There's a possibility that she may forgive her husband and not your wife or vice versa, but that her decisions to make. By looking at your actions of kicking out your wife and contacting a divorce lawyer right away, it tells me that you wouldn't want to be left in the dark. I know me personally, I would always want to know. Anyways, tell her and sorry that of all ways to find out you had to actually walk in on them. It's an image that I would never be able to wipe out of my head. I can't get that image out of my head, and probably never will. She doesn't see the marks from the smack you gave him? Heck yeah you tell her. Follow through with that lawyer too. I'm not sure how he explained it to her, but she must have bought the story. Tell his wife. She deserves to be informed to make a decision for her own happiness. I'm really sorry, but your wife using bipolar manic episode to excuse behavior outside of your marriage, enraged me. I have several extended family members who are bipolar who with certainty would never step outside of their marriage, and would be infuriated that someone used this disease as an excuse to step out. They work very hard in therapy and with medication etc. to ensure they are the best husband and wife they can be. Thank you for the input. I've only known what she's told me about her bipolar. I don't know what to think about anything she's ever told me anymore. Added to add, I told his wife and she was devastated. I don't like being the one to break the news. She's not letting him come home and will likely divorce him. I think I'm still in shock from walking in on it. I can't get that image out of my mind either. At this point, I'm telling everyone I can. Next story is titled. My, male 22, mom, female 54, cheated on my dad, male 58, and it is killing me not to tell him. When I was hanging out with my mom my senior year of high school we started talking about relationships and she was pretty drunk, so I let her ramble on. After like 10 minutes, she asks wanna know something? You have to swear to keep it a secret. I said yes and then my stupid mom tells me about an affair she had with a former pro basketball player in the early 2000s. At first I started calling her a bunch of names, and then she started crying. After she said this, she went on about how my dad cheated on her too and that her cheating was justified, and if I tell him, I will ruin the family. The thing is, over the past few years every time I see him, it is killing me not telling him, but I don't want my family to change as everything is going well. Another thing I'm pondering is how I would tell my dad. I'm starting to think my mom made up my dad's infidelity just to keep me quiet and it's not like I can just ask him if he was unfaithful without telling him what happened. Covid hasn't helped and I feel like I'm getting more and more depressed and stressed about this as time goes on. Also if I tell my dad, I don't know if he will even believe me, and if he does, will he be mad that I've kept this secret? If my dad told me he didn't cheat and to never talk to my stupid mother ever again, I would do it even though deep down I still love her. Anyway, any advice helps. It feels good being able to talk about this as I have nobody I can talk to about it. Now for the top advice. Wow. Your mother is a manipulative, nasty piece of work. Whether or not your dad cheated on her is irrelevant. It doesn't justify her terrible behavior. The fact that she even shared this nugget with you? Is even more disgusting. I would tell your father. As her husband, he deserves to know. Sure, he will be angry but he should eventually realize the horrible spot you were put in. Just realize that if there is a divorce, it is not your fault. It's your cheating mothers, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. How would your dad feel if he finds out without you, and then realizes you knew for years? Yeah I understand, 
I think I'm gonna just tell him but I'm waiting for the right time. I would make your mom tell him. Give her an ultimatum. And after, you can tell him that you knew and made your mom calm clean. Hmm I keep thinking of different scenarios, but none of them will make you or your mom come out looking good out of this. The only one I can think of is if your dad says, it's okay, I forgive her, because I messed up a lot, dunno man. Tricky stuff. Good luck OP. I sympathize. I think he deserves to know. Cheating is never justified. My mom cheated on my dad when he was in the hospital being treated for cancer, and continued the affair even when he went into hospice. She was too busy with the affair partner to visit her own dying husband, or to take me to visit him. I was a teen at the time and could not drive. In a way, I'm glad my dad never had the chance to know how my mom betrayed him, but your dad is healthy and deserves the chance to move on with his life. Now for the last story. My best friend is cheating on her boyfriend of 6 years, what do I do? I need some serious advice surrounding what to do about a cheating best friend. We'll call her boyfriend that she is cheating on James. She has been in a relationship with James for almost 6 years now, and he treats her extremely well. He is extremely close with her family, as she is with his family. However, about a month ago, she made out with a very scummy co-worker, at a party that James was also at, in the bathroom. And ever since then, she has been sneaking around her boyfriend James by getting a hotel and having intercourse with this guy. The guy she is cheating with is awful because he knows James well, hangs out with the two of them, goes for drinks etc. Also, her co-worker is still living with his ex-girlfriend, one of the reasons why they always have to get a hotel to hang out. I met this guy she is cheating with at the bar one night when I was out with my boyfriend and my sister, and he is a complete scumbag. Ever since that night. I feel so sick for James and extremely off with her. I have tried talking to her about it and all she does is attempt to guilt trip me by saying, if you don't want to be my friend anymore, just tell me, or looks away and changes the subject. She says that she is going to tell him, by claiming she just needs to find the right time, but I know she won't because she is extremely cowardly. She cheated on him last summer once, and she never told her boyfriend, even though she said she would. My boyfriend thinks that I should tell James, but I really don't know if that is my place or not. I respect her boyfriend so much and I hate to see her do this to him behind his back. I am her only friend who knows, she won't tell her family or anybody else and I feel an extreme amount of pressure. I'm sorry if this was long, I hope you can shed some advice on what I should do. Now for the top advice. Tell the poor ignorant bastard before he decides she's worth marrying and winds up unknowingly raising some other guy's kid. Just be aware that you will be sacrificing your friendship with your best friend and she will resent you for betraying her trust. The fact that it was unfair of her to put you in this situation will be completely lost on her. Her friend doesn't give a damn about anyone else but herself. If your boyfriend was cheating on you, would you like someone to tell you? That's your answer. This, if she's as bad as the impression I got of her, she's probably not worth keeping as a friend anyways. He is a complete scumbag. Newsflash. Your friend is a huge scumbag too. You should drop her. Why the hell do you want this person as your friend? Look at how she is treating her significant other. And do you want someone like that to have your back as a friend? Screw this witch, tell the BF, and save him and yourself some grief and cut this person out of your life. I agree. I was in the exact same situation and kept it a secret out of loyalty to my ex-best friend. She ended up screwing me over too. You do not want people like this around you. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.